I'm going to show you how to add a device. So we're going to be adding this device onto the parent device. Now go to Play Store or your App Store on your iOS device. And in the App Store, in the search section, you want to search for Google Family Link. Search for this and you see the Google Family Link application. Now tap on this and install the application onto your device. Once installed, tap on Open. On the welcome screen, if you have multiple Google accounts as a parent, you can tap on the drop down in this section. Now tap on the account you prefer to sign in into and tap on continue. So if you're using Chrome or PC, you want to go ahead and sign in into your Google account or your Chrome browser or any browser you have installed on your PC. In the search section, you want to search for Google Family Link. Now if you see the Google Families, click on the first URL in this section and you'll be able to sign in into your Google Family Link account. Now, after signing into your Google Family Link account, you want to tap in this section, Add Child. Does your child have a Google account? If your child doesn't have a Google account, you can tap on No to start creating a new Google account. But if you have already created a Google account for your child, you can tap on Yes. And this is the settings you need to follow on the child's device. Just go to the child's device and follow through by opening settings on the child's device. Once opened, you want to scroll till you find Google. If you do not find Google, you can come to the search settings and type Google in this section. Now tap on Google to open Google. Now if you are met with recommended and all services, simply tap on all services and then scroll all the way to the bottom and find parental control. Tap on parental control. Now to complete adding a device, parents need to finish the next few steps. The child needs to also stick around to learn how parental control works. Tap on next and enter the parent or guardian account email. Tap on next. And enter the account's password. Tap on next again. Sign in to your Google account. And here are some of the details you manage. Manage account settings and control. Block or approve app. Control location settings. Limit screen time. Set filter and control on Google Chrome. Search play and YouTube. Manage your family group. Parents will not be able to monitor a child's screen. Parents can see their child's past search or Chrome browsing history. They will not be able to see or reset their child's account password. Parents will not be able to read their child's email or messages. Parents will not be able to listen to their child's phone call. Parents can change the screen lock password on their child's device. Parents can erase their child's device or data. You'll be able to also remove supervision. Scroll all the way to the bottom and your child needs to enter their email password to enable supervision. Once password is entered, tap on next. Tap on next to install the family link parental control on the device. And scroll all the way to the bottom and tap on activate this device to admin app. As a parent, you'll be able to customize these sections in this section. When you tap on the drop down in this section, you'll be able to add customizations such as app and games. Tap on the drop down in this section and you'll be able to specify the age specification for apps, book. Choose whether to filter mature sites on Google Chrome and filter on Google Search. You can customize in this section and tap on next. Tap on done. And parental control will be set up on the child's device. Now you can minimize. And on your Google Family link, simply tap on Done. And the child's device will be added to your Google Family link. So thank you for watching this video. And I hope you found this video helpful. Do make sure to like, subscribe, and have the post notification turned on.